And now to the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Residents are seeking solace in the ancient tradition of voodoo as the violent gangs tighten their grip on the country. They're visiting voodoo priests with urgent requests ranging from locating kidnapped family members to finding critical medicines. Practitioners are offering papayas, coffee, and even lollipops and cheesy puffs to the spirits. Our next report explains why voodoo is a crucial part of Haiti's culture. As gang violence continues to spiral out of control in the Caribbean nation of Haiti, more and more Haitians turn to voodoo, a religion born out of struggle. They sing with their voices rising above the gunfire erupting miles away as the frantic drum beats drown out their troubles. So what exactly is voodoo? The word translates to spirit or deity. It's rooted in the religious traditions of West and Central Africa, where the ancestors of most Haitians were born. The African religion was at the root of the revolution that made Haiti the world's first free republic back in 1804. It combines Catholicism with animist beliefs and has no official leader or creeds. Instead, the religion believes in a single god and over a thousand spirits. Many people believe that voodoo is a cult, black magic or devil worship. But practitioners say that it's been misjudged throughout history. Now it has become a more powerful and accepted religion across Haiti. Today voodoo is different. It is a clean and pure voodoo which is philosophy, spirituality and magic. Voodoo is in education, economy, social life and politics and much more. As violent gangs continue to kill, rape and kidnap people across the country, a growing number of Haitians are praying or visiting voodoo priests with urgent requests. These requests range from locating kidnapped family members to finding critical medicines to keep someone alive. During voodoo ceremonies, people offer everything, from papayas and coffee to even lollipops and cheesy puffs to the spirits. And the ceremony is considered successful if a voodooist is possessed by a spirit. Each nation, each people have a name for their land, their history, their culture and their religion. We are Haitians and our culture and our soul is voodoo. Voodoo priests say the religion has been attracting thousands given the surge of gang violence and government inaction. A temple in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, which once had just eight families as members, now counts more than 4,000, both in Haiti and abroad. Notably, gang violence has left more than 360,000 Haitians homeless. From January to March alone, over 2,500 people have been killed or injured and nearly two million citizens are on the verge of a famine. While it's unknown how many people currently practice voodoo in Haiti, it's clear that the religion has become a crucial part of the country's culture and its struggle. And it's reflective of a popular saying that goes, Haiti is 70% Catholic, 30% Protestant and 100% voodoo. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.